Hi, I'm Gary, M0TIG, and today we're going to talk about the new um, Pi 3, or I say not, not so new now, but it's taken over from the, uh, the Pi 2 um, and now has inbuilt Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and a much speedier processor. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little unboxing, show you what you get in the Pi kit, um, the card, and show you how to assemble it. Um, this is going to be the first in a series of uh, short videos. Um, talking about the, the Pi and the things you can do with it um, because it's not just a device used for the DB4. In fact, just recently I've actually got one running a home media centre um, at home. Uh, it, they're really, really versatile bits of kit. So this is the Raspberry Pi. Okay, okay. right, so first of all we're going to unbox the, the actual Pi itself. And it comes in a, in a, a neat, snazzy red box, silver bag, and obviously the, the Pi itself. And yours will have a, have a, a card actually installed already in. Um, and that's actually got an, an image um, that we flashed to it for you to make it really simple. Um, it, it will almost work straight out of the box. All you need to do is discover the IP address. Um, use Windows Remote Desktop to actually connect to it, headless, um, put in your details, sign onto your Wi-Fi network if you want to, and away you go. So first of all, you've got the, the Raspberry Pi. Let's put that to one side. And then of course in the, in the white box you've actually got a power supply. And this is a, a Raspberry Pi branded power supply. comes with the, um, the Euro adapter should you need it. Um, and inside the, the box itself, you've got the, the Pi, the Pi branded um, power supply and a nice long cord um, ready to roll. Um, obviously, the, you, you're getting a, a 16 gigabyte card in there. It's a, it's a verbatim, so it's good quality card. Um, and it's class 10 as well, so it's super fast. Those bits. And obviously, the case itself. Um, and this is actually a new style case, it's uh, not like the, the flat wafer one we used before. Um, we've actually chosen this one because it has like a flat door. Some people were using a TFT screen, so we'll, we'll show you a bit more about that. Okay, so first of all we'll start with unwrapping the case. And it's simply a case of uh, ripping the bag and opening it. I'll say simply a case. Right, there you go, just put it apart. Okay, and inside you've got lots and lots of bits of plastic. Okay, and the first thing you're going to want to do is peel all the plastic off of the, off of the face. I don't know if you can see that bit's very, very swish. That's actually the lid, that one, I think. No, it's not, it's actually the bottom. Okay, and these are the sides. Okay, that's the last piece. Then what you're going to do is grab all the pieces. That's the, the door, the top door. Um, these are the two end pieces. And you're going to grab the two sides and the bottom. Okay, you'll see there's actually two lumps on, on there. That's actually the bottom side of the of the actual pie box. They're the actual feet. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the pie itself, and how I normally do this is just offer those those two things up so you can actually see the see how the pie is going to go together. And then you take your your end piece, and then you can locate it just on the end like so, you can actually see how it's going to go. So you're going to take a side, and there he is there, the one with all the little cutouts on it for the bits and pieces first. And all you do, it's a bit fiddly this, I'll give you that. Okay, and then what you do is you then take your other side there, hook it on the top first, and then that whole lot then just hinges down. Okay, and you've got like a little first bit is very fiddly but you've actually got a very small like latch there 
which you push up and the whole thing then just clicks in okay and then take the the other side okay and locate that on the two pegs go okay try and hook the top on first okay and then push the two latches up it is quite fiddly there you go and then that that whole end is on okay at this point take the door and you'll notice it's got some cutouts that's obviously to allow the cable from the from the GPO pin um, to actually come through so that goes on that side and it just drops in there and that just shuts shuts down and then take the last end end piece just hook it on the top hold it on your fingers push the two latches up and it should eventually just clip on just give it a little squeeze and that is the basic pie with a little lift up door okay and that's pretty much how the pie really really works um, that's, that's that's pretty much it you need then just to take your power supply plugs in in the side just plug it in switch it on and, and away you go initially you're going to need to connect this to your your router via an ethernet cable um, and then you're going to need to use sort of something like a um, an IP search um, program just to find the um, the IP address of the Pi itself. Once you've got that, I mean, you can use something on on your mobile phone called Thing, which is uh, F I N G, which is a free download um, on Apple, and I'm sure there's something else on on uh, Android that you can use. Um, once you've actually you've got the IP address, you just then put in. If you've got Windows 10, it's really easy. You just put into where the Cortana search um, area is, remote desktop, and a little window will pop up. Type in your Pi um, IP address, and you'll be able to log straight in. Now we're using the default passwords, which is um, all lowercase, which is Pi, and then the password is going to be Raspberry. Okay, and that's you off and running. Okay, so if you if you need to know a little bit more specialist information. Um, we are doing a series of these little videos, um, if you want to click on, hopefully we would have done one by then, but click on the link below um, and that should take you into the next video, which we'll talk about, one, how to actually find the IP address, maybe uh, two, how to actually connect to the Pi via the, the remote uh, desktop app, and then uh, maybe in the third video we'll, we'll go on to a little more advanced things, like say for instance the, the media player, perhaps we'll go on to... Um, whether or not you can remotely access the, the Pi from, from anywhere in the world, um, which is really, really good. I'm actually doing that at the moment and actually working a relay board so I can actually turn things on and off um, from anywhere in the world. Really, really good stuff. So look forward to you uh, coming back and watching the next video and uh, thanks for watching.